NXT took place last night, and of course, this is the fallout from NXT TakeOver 31, which took place last Sunday. They uh, continue to do this, uh, the Capital Wrestling Center gimmick. I don't know what this shit is. It's just, uh, I'm kind of bored with it already. Um, they had uh, Tommaso Ciampa start to show off. He faces Kushida, ends up in a DQ. Uh, Kushida probably should have won, but they're really pushing Kushida as a nasty heel after he killed the Velveteen Dream. Uh, they basically go back and forth, and then uh, he hits the hoverboard lock, and then uh, Velveteen Dream comes with a cast on his arm, runs in, climbs a turnbuckle, and he jumped in looking for an axe angle, but he hit Ciampa, and it's eventually de- uh, Kushida gets DQ'd because Velveteen Dream, and then Kushida threw Dream out of the ring, Kushida did a flip dive over the droops on Dream, he went to attack, but Dream fled ringside, and uh, he basically you know fell into the darkness of the CWC, it was weird. Um, he had Ember Rune come out for a commercial break, and she was in the ring to address the audience, and then she thanked them for welcoming her response. And then um, uh, she's been in isolation for 14 months, but now she's back. Uh, she knows a lot's changed in NXT, and she found the Ember's Law, and no one's going to walk over her. And Io Shirai gets in the ring, and she uh, went face-to-face with Ember Moon. But before she could speak, Rhea Ripley answered. Ripley began to speak, and then she was attacked by Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez. Ember Moon jumped in to make the save, causing a brawl. Officials poured in to separate them. Um, it was okay. And um, William Regal comes out to make a tag team match. It was basically a Teddy Long moment. Uh, they informed they had a sixth segment for earlier today with Drake Maverick and Killian Dane. They're booking a the tag match. Undisputed Air is backstage for a promo. Adam Cole addressed the supposed attack from Ridge Holland. Drake Maverick and Killian Dane defeated Ever Rise. Um, this was okay. This was an okay matchup. Uh, this was average, I thought. You know, I don't really care much. They did a great vignette uh, featuring Tony Storm. I'd love to see more of her. General Garland Cancer in the ring. Uh, to- uh, we're walking their dog in the neighborhood. They wore matching track suits. And this is, I don't know, I thought this was kind of boring. I think they're doing too much with this. As they approached the house, they saw a new television set on the porch. It was it had a bow on it, and it was sent by Indy Hartwell. John Gargano buried her until LeRae told him it was a gift for Hartwell. He changed his tune and put her over. So they got a new TV at Austin Theater to defeat Leon Ruff. This was okay. I didn't care much for this. Uh, this ends, leads to Dexter Loomis facing Austin Theory. Dexter Loomis with the win. They're not doing much with Austin Theory. Uh, he doesn't have much. He doesn't offer much. Um, it, it, um, it, uh, it just did not work. Uh, they had uh, uh, they do this prime target mini doc to do a championship epilogue featuring NXT title match on that uh, takeover of Finn Balor and uh, Kyle O'Reilly. They had Rich Holland defeat down Danny Burch. This was all right. Uh, then they had uh, they're trying to pitch Rich Hall, push Rich Holland. I don't care much for him. He had Shotzi Blackheart defeat Zia Lee. This was okay. Uh, Shotzi with the win. Zia Lee is not getting a huge push. They had Rhea Ripley and uh, Maroon defeat uh, Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez. This was a solid matchup. This was okay. This was basically the main event. They're trying to push Ember Moon back as one of the top female stars, one of their premier stars in NXT. A problem with Ember Moon, when you look at her NXT career, I remember her just you know, being known for having two big losses to Asuka. She lost to Asuka twice, and she came back, and then she uh, she won the title, and she lost to Shane, and she went to the main roster, and, you know, she flopped. I knew she wouldn't do much in the main roster. I don't think Vince would push her, but... You know, when you look at what she did on the main roster, it just did not work out. But she's back there. Uh, her and uh, Dakota, uh, Kai, and Raquel Gonzalez obviously were going to lose. Uh, Rhea Ripley had uh, Gonzalez in the fireman's care when Dakota Kai kicked Rhea Ripley. They sent Rhea Ripley backwards, and she and Gonzalez tumbled over the announce table. Back in the ring, Ember Moon finishes off Dakota Kai with the Eclipse, and she gets the win, so Ember Moon is back, and she wins. Her and uh, Ripley are victorious, and Ember wins it. So we'll see what's next for Io Shirai. I suppose it could be either Ember Moon or Tony Storm. I think it should be Ember Moon, and then Io beats Ember, and then Io faces Tony Storm next. I think that should be the order, but that was NXT.